Right, super exciting day ahead. This is the Secret Sankey Grow Out Pond. Uh, we're heading up to the part two uh, event. And yeah, it's time to get the fish outside today to acclimatize them down and uh, yeah, get them ready uh, for moving to the venue and the customers to actually collect them. So I've obviously been keeping track, but this is the first time I've seen them all up close uh, since they were released in the pond. And my God, I know the results are stunning. And I think you're going to be gobsmacked to see what they've come from to where they're at now. And you'll realize why in, in Frank, I'm pretty pissed off that I sold them. Certainly seeing some of them in there because I would have loved nothing more than to keep them going for the rest of the season through to some pretty monstrous Nissai. They are now the majority of kind of nice, decent jumbo toe size sizes. Uh, and yeah, I'm just blown away. Uh, hopefully now people will understand why we were so hyped about what we were doing in the first place uh, and why you know the price we offered these at, at was really such a steal. Uh, I know a few out there had things to comment that they seemed a bit of a, a rip off and when I did hear that for the first time I did have a good chuckle to myself because I knew what was coming and uh, yeah I'm going to share those results with you today. We've got footage uh, of the fish when they went in so back at the event release and you're going to see them uh, now today and see where we've got to. But the bit I really want to bring it to, you know, all the content we've been doing all along has been focused on trying to get you guys to understand what you can do with the most basic of equipment and basic of tools when you have the right knowledge, the right setup, the right food as well. Heat obviously plays a big part in this. We wouldn't have done it without it. And that's something, you know, you can get your head around. We've even discussed methods around heating uh, and, and what you do with your budget for your pond and where you place it. Uh, in order for you to have this in the summer to raise fish. So uh, yeah, I mean, just to look around, you can see the pond there, it's roughly, I think about seven by seven and a half feet. Uh, it's about two and a half, uh, I think it's three feet max, but it runs just over two and a half feet deep. It's a single bottom drain through to a homemade filter system. Now, if we actually look at this pond, this system can be built. I can't think of anything more cost effective. It's a, a rubber liner inside, not even a box weld one. My old man's an absolute legend at folding liner. Uh, I've never seen anything like it, never managed to learn it either. Uh, it gets his corners unbelievable. So it's just a plain box welded liner. Uh, underneath it's a single uh, concrete block and it's on a compacted sand base as well. So you can see here, no, no real expense in building this. Uh, the single bottom drain runs to this homemade filter system which is just this small brush chamber. You can see it there on the dimensions. Small brush chamber. That uh, bottom drain comes in straight up through the brushes. And then in there, just around, around there, there's a wall with a four inch return near the top of it where that passes through into the next chamber where we've got 300 liters of K1. Uh, the pump sat in there as well. Uh, the air pump, which is the AirTech 130, drives into the fluid bed. Uh, it passes through the UV, back into the pond through our spray bar return. We don't even add additional aeration into the pond because fluid beds are actually a really efficient way of aerating water uh, if you've got one and get the right amount passing through it. Uh, maintenance wise, all that's done with this is uh, we actually had this one being maintained twice a week. So uh, the nice thing is the bottom drain is in the bottom there is sat flush with the bottom drain. So to do this maintenance, the brushes are lifted out, they're hosed off. We then put a stand pipe in, we drain the chamber off. There's the, the slide valve just down there. We drain the chamber off completely. Uh, and then we pull the stand pipe, which gives the drain an almighty purge. Because they're sat flush uh, and the water levels up on maximum, there's a huge amount of pressure, which completely clears. And it's just a very short drain run as well. Really simple, no complex bends or anything. Really short drain run. Uh, and we keep purging that. It'll be a couple of times normally until it runs completely clear. Again, purging all the water off. Uh, brushes back in and job done. It's really not difficult. Each filter uh, probably takes about 15 to 20 minutes to do the maintenance in full, including the brushes. So, I mean, it really don't get much simpler than that, guys. Uh, we top up after uh, into the system and that's the only water changing that there's got. There's no permanent trickle or anything else going in here, what you see is what you get. Now, I'm not gonna sit here and say that obviously the clarity has been completely amazing. It isn't, but that's something I'm prepared to sacrifice to create this environment and water for raising these fish. What you will see in here today, and we can see them swirling around now even, you know, absolutely looking phenomenal. Really, really happy fish. 
But what we will see today as ever is that phenomenal, you know, not only the body, and, and bearing in mind as well the bit I've missed out, we should be hitting around 100, I think they should be around 110, because even a few smaller ones I put in here, they didn't have anywhere else to put them. I thought there'll be two options for these. I'll either catch up or they'll do nothing at all. So I think we're going to be hitting, let's say there was a hundred event fish plus these extras. We will have a count up at the end. It's a phenomenal stocking level as well to go from where they were to where they are now. I think size is roughly was around 20 to 25 cm. And I'm hoping today there might be one or two that's actually hit 40. So we'll wait and see what's happened. And that's in a roughly, I think about a three, three and a half month time span, something like that. It's crazy. Uh, yeah, so the water clarity has not been amazing. You know, that would be improved by other tools. And when I say all this, and I'll show you what I'm about to show you in a minute, it's not to say that you can't do things better. You can, but what I want to show you is what you can do with the most basic of tools. If you make a few compromises, i.e., you know, on that water clarity, which, you know, this environment, even with the, with the organic staining in the water, uh, is actually better because you get the uh, turbidity in there to actually protect the Benny a bit from the intense sunlight, especially in the polytunnels, you know, where that's amplified a little bit as well, which really helps protect that colour and keep it in the condition that it's in. The one thing I don't sacrifice on is the incredible food. You know, Saki Akari is a huge part of all this. Don't underestimate how important diet is uh, in achieving what they want to achieve. So, uh, yeah, really, really simple. And for us, you know, I've, I've seen it drummed into people's heads you know that you need crystal clear water you need this you need that i'm going to show you now that you don't need it and i'm just going to bag this bag here just going to take a bit of this water for you to see the true color of it now when i'm doing this i'm not promoting saying this is the what the way your water should look i get we all get something different from koi keeping and it all depends but the point of doing this is to show you when we see the fish what can be achieved with having water like this so that's the actual color that is from organic staining I've not checked it because I don't. The TDS in here is probably absolutely through the roof uh, and yet we're still achieving what we have. Red, dead, dead simple. The main parameter we keep an eye on in all this is the KH, making sure the KH is well maintained. There's been a couple of periods where it has dropped out and we've seen the, very, the pump performance change very rapidly. But we just deal with that accordingly. And yeah, enough of that. You know, I think this really brings together all those principles that I constantly discuss Hopefully you see now the environment in its fullest. You see the water, you see everything that I'm doing, you'll see the results. Then from that point, that as a base level, you can see what you can do. If that's where you're at, you know, if this is the most pond you can afford to build, hopefully you take away that you can still achieve amazing results with a small pond built on a budget with the know-how. You know, that, that is really the difference that comes into it. Then if you have got more budget to play with, you can take this as your base level and find different ways to tweak it. But it just goes to show, you know, you don't need the pond to be fiberglass. You don't need to have bot multiple bottom drains. You don't need to have all the latest gadgets, the things. You need some basic core principles to raise fish successfully. If you've got them, the knowledge and experience to back it up, you use good food, you will be successful. So there we have it. Uh, I really want to get stuck into this now. So we'll get it netted up and uh, see where we're at. Exciting times. Well, absolutely blown away with this. You can see here right now, now, just look at the quality. Insane, and look across the board. This isn't just one fish that's done this. There's varying sizes. We was always gonna get that with a batch of toast. I have explained that all along our videos, but I mean, looking at that, that that's over 40 cm. It's got to be, what an absolute unit. But just across the board, the quality, you know, this guy's Sankey is just, he's right up there. And I can absolutely assure you that next year, if I get my hands on these, they'll be going absolutely nowhere. So uh, there we are. But yeah, I'm, I'm just, hopefully the look on everyone's faces uh, will fulfill the void of these going. So there we go. Uh, get on with sorting them out now. First look, this is the first time I've seen these in clean water since uh, the event, to be fair. And uh, yeah, wow. Uh, don't know really what to say uh, any more than that, to be honest. Size wise, I think worth a check on what we've got in here. There's 15. So the fish I'm going to show you are all the ones that were selected by customers at the event. So these were 20 to 25 cm on average. I think we had a couple smaller, but we're 27 cm on that one now. I don't think that one was quite at 
20 at the time and we are leading up to this phenomenal one here at you get it in 30 about 33 34 that one super impressive just look at the body condition on them look at the color condition yeah about 32 and a half on that one again absolutely insane i'm seeing all these typical takano characteristics especially in this one i mean this is one of the really really top exceptional pieces just look at the body power the size of the head the mouth the backbone the width across the body the power at the peduncle and if we can get it on the camera you can see that this gin they get in the skin the takano shine looks absolutely in, insane on him this is really really unique to his bloodline see it quite consistently there's quite a few fish in here showing it look that one really strongly what an incredible characteristic to having them you can see loads of different styles quite a lot of different things have been happening with the sumi some have held up really well others it's dropped back down when it's come back in later life there's quite a lot of variations in sort of patterns and styles amongst them but just generally across the board insanely good quality i mean look at this really complete package that shine there again sumi quality pattern body i mean the elegance of that head shape and face shape again just glorious let's say this real top pick see there the body power again just madness that head benny quality the sumi just ticks every box and that's a fish that with more size these intricate details are just going to get better and better and better but what a piece got others like i say with the sumi sat down a bit more where it's going to come through but again look at the potential positioning all subo sumi mainly across the body absolutely brilliant love it others where we're sankey you have to give this some tolerance you know there's not a lot of benny mid body there but look at the amount of sumi and how well placed it is when that develops and it's looking like showing signs that's going to completely transform the look of that fish so yet another exciting prospect just more and more and more as we go on like i say that's only only 15 of them a cracking size range already uh yeah gutted i'm not getting a chance to, to keep a few more of these and push them on but i've still got some left in the batch yet to go through them and have a look but there seems to be some nice prospects there was a few smaller fish out the batch as well that i actually left in there kind of like you know they'll either grow or they won't but i had nowhere else to put them and uh, they seem to have done quite well which has surprised me uh, but yeah change these over now take a look at the next batch but incredible absolutely delighted with, with what i'm seeing now uh yeah this is quite a bowl to say the least we haven't just randomly dotted these in but i think it's probably fair to say well, in my opinion the absolute number one in the whole batch is in here as well I think when you see the clip uh, it's quite easy probably to spot not just because of its size but just the overall everything that it's got uh, this absolute weapon at 36 cm now absolutely insane but just look at it i don't think i need to say too much about that it's got everything going on it's really really refined from where it was at as well because it had these really small sumi spots that is expected have kind of grown in volume along the way as well and what a piece that is absolutely insane and then again here just just looking across again another just admire the body form here absolutely wild quality the sumi quality again 35 cm there wow this one's been a particular favorite of mine throughout Think this is going to be a really top end nisai kept in the right environment certainly if i've been keeping it here uh it would have been super super impressive 32 cm there just yeah remarkable the really prominent fish thirty four cm so yeah uh i've just got there look that's the takano gin that shine really in full bloom there it's absolutely incredible super impressive so i'm really not going to say too much more just let you uh admire those uh as i'm admiring them right now incredible stuff last bowl uh i think out of all of them we've had two uh that's had complete benny failure which is pretty impressive again knowing we've got the quality of the selection right in the first place 
I think overall customers have done an amazing job of picking the right fish uh, as well. So very, very pleased all round. I think we've got our size champion in this bowl. So let's see where we've got to. This absolute unit is insane. Yeah, actually 30, just over 36 there. So not quite got where I wanted at the 40 mark, but not far off it. And uh, I mean, yeah, that's, that's going to be a big, in the right conditions, you're going to have a monstrous fish there. And just look at that sumi quality. Absolutely banging. There's another couple of pieces really to note here uh, that's been on the smaller end of the scale that were, but this one here is actually one of my complete favorite fish, uh, favorite fish in the whole batch. Uh, I think it's got a really bright potential koi show future ahead for it. But just look at the technical brilliance of that piece. Now this was a much smaller fish and you can see here it's had to compete against the likes of that one. Now I'm looking at the bone structure setup and that's a fish that's telling me it can still do a fair amount. I'm talking a fish here that can still be hitting the 70 75 mark if kept in those right conditions it's got all the bone structure attributes to it it's just been having to compete in a very very competitive environment against some real monsters but i think conditioned up the technical brilliance of that will be a koi show fish that could move through several size classes and and struggle to be beaten to be honest we we'll look at the p uh, pattern potential with the sumi where it's all sat the sumo sumi in between the benny pattern the coracle pattern underneath is insane I even got the older mate it's just a technically brilliant piece and that would be one that would be well worth giving the right conditions to to really nurture the best out of it but real real top fish it's not always about size that is an exact case there but it's also important to know just because it's a smaller fish right now doesn't mean its future is doomed it's just these bigger pieces of fish that will exceed you know be more like 80 cm plus fish in the right environments i see that being a stretch for that one but at even 65, 70, 75, looking like that would be absolutely top draw. And yeah, uh, I don't really know what more to say. There's another couple like this one. You see, this is really all the sumi's dropped off. That's again, a normal part of the process with some Sankey, but looking at the sumi type of it, it's normal. This is developing more in the top of the skin and will come through very, very quickly when in a different environment, not raising intensively. But again, we look at the potential. You just look at the Benny pattern and the body that's enough to know that fish is a keeper the sumi quality that up is superb just give that the time and it's really really going to do the business absolutely certain of that and then another one here i believe this belongs to uh mr lee adfield the koi soldier the jammy git done it again really nice pick i think this one's got a really bright koi show future ahead of it as well possibly even baby champion material given it's sat about 31 cm at the minute just incredible balance to that pattern again really technically very very good so yeah there we have it to sign off uh, on that event we've obviously got the event to come which i'm really looking forward to and all the other, all other elements factored into it but for now just as a, as a result with the fish i'm absolutely delighted to have delivered this result for the customers as well you know 50 people there put their trust in me to deliver some results and Looking at what I'm seeing, I think the majority of people have got an absolute bargain because to pick any of these up now for 495 quid would be a very, very difficult job. And uh, yeah, thank you to Takano in Japan as well for uh, messing up his selection once again by the looks of it. Uh, I'm not quite sure he knew what he was giving away here in some of these and I've, I've sent him the video and await his reaction, but all good fun. And uh, yeah, thank you for everyone who's, who's taken part, uh, anyone who's joined the event. And yeah, everyone who's seen the videos, I hope you enjoy it and look out for more events coming in the future.